You are in for an absolute treat today. Today's meditation is brought to you by the one and only Harris Eddie Hill. Harris was kind enough to record and provide this lovely guided meditation that was inspired by our conversation from episode 41. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, I highly recommend that you go back to that episode because it's really going to provide context for the meditation and the journey that you're going to go on today. I'm not going to say any more because I really want you to go and enjoy this meditation and allow yourself to relax into the healing that's going to happen. So enjoy the soothing voice and words of Harris as you relax, speak with your inner child, and take the next step in healing from trauma. Hi, my beautiful friends. Welcome to the Danielle Shea podcast. My name is Danielle Shea, and I'm your host, and I'm a healing coach for sexual assault survivors and a lived experienced expert. That means that I'm a survivor too, and my mission is to ensure that all survivors know healing is possible. This platform, along with my coaching programs, are all designed to turn survivors into thrivers. I want you to live a joyful and fulfilled life. And if you're ready for some healing, let's dive into today's episode. Hey everyone, my name is Harris Eddy Hill and today I'm going to take you through a really important process that I use with my clients. I'm the founder of the Centre for Childhood Trauma Healing. And there's a particular aspect of this that I think we all need, regardless of what we're facing or what our challenges are and even what type of trauma we have. I think that this is a really important part of any kind of healing or recovery. And I'm really pleased to bring it to you today. Before we go into it today, I just want to give you a few notes. And firstly, that as I take you through this process today, I want you to do a lot more noticing. I want you to notice what comes up, what feelings are there, what you sense, and just take it in. You don't have to do anything with this. And you can let it settle afterwards. This is a gentle process. Some people do find it quite emotional, and that's okay. Um, but it it's totally safe. This is just a little moment where we're just going to connect with the part of ourselves that we don't often. The other thing is that I'm aware that people think differently. So however you experience this process is perfectly okay. If you're not very visual, but you do more feeling or sensing or however you experience this is totally perfect. It's perfect for you. You don't have to do it exactly the way that I'm saying it, but just let this process happen within you and just feel into it. This is an experience rather than a logical, rational thing. And lastly, before we do this today, I want you to just allow your brain to come up with whatever it's going to come up with and express itself however it, it that most makes sense to you or to it. And whenever I do this work with clients, it's really interesting to see what comes up and, and the, the images that they might have, um, you know, particular memories, it might be like a favorite food that they forgot that they liked, you know, this should be a really lovely time for you to connect with yourself. And even if you're a very rational or logical person, I just want to remind you that human beings, first and foremost, are emotional. And that when we tend to this side of ourselves, and we become more practiced at it, we actually become better with our emotions, better at emotional regulation better at seeing the whole picture and actually better at being rational because it, in my experience and across the board it seems to be that the more in touch with our feelings we are the more we can work with them rather than have them overwhelm us or do the exhausting thing of suppressing our feelings which for those of us who have survived a lot of different things Part of our survival often is to suppress, and that's how we got here today. So I'm not in any way demonizing those coping mechanisms. And I also invite you into this space today to 
just connect with yourself. With that being said, I'm going to get ready now and take you into this meditation or vis visualization, however you like to think of it. I want you to get somewhere comfortable. People always tell me when I do a meditation or visualization that I mustn't lie down, but it's my preferred state and I don't fall asleep. So I want you to get comfortable. Whether that's sat up or lying down. I would recommend that you do it with your eyes closed. So please don't be operating a car or any heavy machinery. Somewhere quiet where you're not going to be disturbed. If you need to put your phone on silent, shut the door, turn the TV off or the radio or whatever it is that you're doing, I really recommend that you do that. And just to allow some space here, especially if you've not done inner work like this before, you may need that space. And as you get comfortable, I also want to just invite you to, to set aside some time after this today to reflect and to just be in a calm, quiet space. So don't rush through this. If you're going to have a better time in an hour, to take a little bit more time, then do that. Don't do this right before you've got a Zoom call or anything else where you have to be really present because this is a really important thing you're doing for you and it deserves time and to be treated with respect. Now I want you to get comfortable. Whether you're on the floor or the chair, your bed, a sofa, wherever it is, I want you to begin to become aware of where your body is touching the floor or the furniture. You should close your eyes when you're ready. Begin to take some relieving breaths. Breathe out any tension that you might have. Just briefly scan over your body and notice where you might be holding any tension. And breathe out that tension. With every breath, you release the tension and you relax more and more into the floor, the furniture, whatever is holding you. You should become aware of the clothes soft against your skin. I want you to really notice how you're held in this space, held and protected. Once you feel really nice and calm, I want to invite you to think about a feeling that's been nagging you recently. This might be a touch of anxiety or worry. Might be a little bit of anger, anything that's been eating at you, or just tapping you on the shoulder, maybe trying to get your attention. You're not here to fix this feeling, but we are here to acknowledge it. I want you to approach this feeling that you've identified as needing your attention. 
with curiosity and openness and no judgment. As you call forward with compassion or curiosity, if that's the best you can manage, call this feeling forward in your mind's eye. You to become aware of a figure approaching you. You realize a little bit of joy pops up in you, some love, as you notice that this is a younger version of yourself. I want you to notice how old do you think they are? This younger version of you. What age are they giving off? As they get closer to you, I want the two of you to greet each other, however feels most natural. I want you to take each other in for a moment. Notice all the feelings you have about your younger self. I want you to notice the face of your younger self looking back at you. Is there awe or wonder? What does it look like they're feeling when they look at you? Just take a moment to really connect. You want to hold each other's hands whilst you look at each other, that's okay. Or you can just stand apart and look, look at each other. Now I want you to tell your younger self, I'm here to take these feelings, take the burden from you. I'm going to look after it and take care of the situation myself. And either a feeling of that issue passing from them to you, or they can physically hand you something. They physically hand you something, is there a symbol? This feeling that they're wanting to tell you about, wanting to connect you with, is it represented by? an object? Is it a ball of light? It could be anything. Just notice how it looks or feels to you. In these last moments, I want you to invite your younger self to say anything that needs to be said or for any requests to be made of you. You do not have to answer, just listen.
Now we are going to say goodbye for now to our younger self. Thank them for bringing this issue to your attention, for keeping it safe. Hug or wave or whatever you need to do, whatever feels right. Before you notice them walk away from you and fade. Know that you can come back to see this part of you at any time and that they are always with you anyway. Take note of what you've been given. Notice if you're holding it or feeling it. Whatever it is that's been passed on to you. Just notice it. There's no judgment here. Now I want you to hold it safely within your hands or within your chest if that's where it is. You don't need to put it in there if it's not there already. I want you to gently become aware of your toes and your fingers, of the floor or the furniture that holds you. Clothes soft against your skin. And take some breaths to wake you up again. In your own time, come back to the room. You can write down anything that you feel is important from today. Your only job for now is just to sit with it. When you're ready to begin processing, come along to the next part, which is the journal prompt. This has been Harris Eddy Hill of the Centre for Childhood Trauma Healing. You can find me at mux, that's M-X, harrishill.com. Wow, that was incredible. Did you get as much out of listening to that as I did in creating it? I hope you did. I hope you found it helpful and powerful, and I hope that it allowed you to take action and choose yourself today. If you found this to be helpful, please share this with someone who needs to hear this message as well, because we don't need to heal alone. Thank you so much for choosing.